Hey guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So you guys, in the previous video, we learned how to make a basic static login and sign up form. And we logged in, just displayed our information here. And today we're going to be learning how to take this off. Okay, and um, now we're going to be learning how to do, do the exact same thing. thing but with text files and doing it a bit better let's go and remove this code we have created so far um, will we use this sign up code uh, no I'll not use that code or this code stick this out yeah, and let's just remove every code here okay so I have no code in this form okay, this form here okay, we'll just increase the size a bit to 16 and this one can be also 16 but in bold bold okay and the button will be log out and it will have Font of 16 or maybe let's make it 18. 18. Okay. Uh, I think we'll just have the same picture for now. Like we, like we won't change the picture because that's a bit of um, new stuff to learn, like a lot of new stuff. So let's not change the picture for now. So everyone, um, so all of the users will have this the same picture of me for now. Um, okay. Yes. Let's change it. Oh, let's give it a different picture maybe let's see what else I have in my pictures folder uh, let's put this default let's just put a picture of Dalphi there as a default picture okay yeah okay so let's start coding yes when we when the user um, signs up we have to create his, his account so let's start by writing a text let's do it a bit differently um what's the easiest way to do this or the best way uh, no let, let's just do it a normal text file way so txt file so type text file let's make a txt profile so that I'm still a bit sick. Okay, so let's assign file. So use okay, so username. Okay, assign file txt profile, and the folder name will be the person's username. So we'll say let's give these things a bit different names. Um, let's leave it like this okay label it to the lazy labeled edit to dot uh, text plus dot txt okay before we do this let's first check, check if the user that does, doesn't exist already so if file exists let's um, try the global variable or not let's not do that okay. if file exists uh -huh. that file if that file exists then then it's like if not exists Let's start with that. Else, just show message. Oops. Um, someone with that same user name already exists. Please choose a different 
username. Okay. So if the file doesn't exist, then it will start by creating the person. If it does exist, it will, it will spell this message. So let's test it out by just piecing your code. So rewrite txt profile and just close file txt profile. Okay, so let's create the username. <coughs> Well, let's show the result. I'm signing up. This other file is created. It should be. So, so now let's try and sign up again. And we'll see that username is already taken because uh, here's my file now created as my username. So it's deleted. So this works. Here's another file is created. Now we say white light txt profile so the first line will be the person's username username the second line will be the person's <coughs> let's make it like this okay so username password this is level Edit, level at one, then it will be the first name which is four and then three, four and three, four and three. So this is level at four and three. This should be a bit different. <coughs> this is the first name and the last name, and then one for the. Huh? What else did I do here? This should be the age. Yes. Oh, okay. This is probably the mistake in the previous video. Uh, oh, it's level behind it. I forgot we did it like that. So let's make this age. Okay. This would then be the person's age. Just try and make it a bit more neat. Top will be 3 to 8. That's better. Okay. So age is spin at 1. Last name of the age will be spin at 1 dot value dot to string. Okay, then we just display a message that says show message. Ah, oh, Scheiser. Profile successfully created. You can now sign in. <coughs> I'm really sorry. Let's just do this. Oh, what the hell am I doing? This is not neat. Okay. I think that this should work now. So now let's go to logging. Let's first, first see if it works. Let's, see, let's, let's compile. Let's create an account. I'll call it Sean Result. My password would be 123. My first name is Sean. And my last name is Result. I'm age 18. Let's sign up. Probably successfully created. Let's say uh, now I should try and sign, and sign up again with the same things. I will see that I can't do that because the person already exists with that same username. Okay, so let's save. Go to show result and here's all my information. So now let's do the login. So, variable. Again, txt profile, t 
fixed file. Let's get some variables. Well, let's just do the S data. Actually, just be fine. Uh, type string. Okay, so we'll do again. Let's first see if this person that person actually exists. So it's a different base. I'm lazy. But do not copy and paste. Okay. So if the, this person exists, which is init username. Where's the name? So if this person exists, then we'll start. Also, we just show a message that uh, this uh, this is display message that says username or password incorrect. incorrect. Please try again. Okay. Uh, now we'll start by not rewriting, we'll just reset and then let's throw this away. Okay. This should not be this should not be username. And we'll start by Okay. Let's start it. <coughs> Read line of txt profile. We did the is data. So will be the username. So then we'll store the username into. Okay, the username that doesn't actually display yet. That's not, that's not important. Let's go on to the next one and just add a tag to it. Username. And this is the. Password. So I'll check then if, oops, if is data, which is the password, is not equal to the edt password, edt password dot text, then begin. display this message we just say that the username or password is incorrect and then we'll just exit so the exit procedure basically just exits this whole procedure if I'm correct we'll check it now now okay sorry um the password is not correct you will exit Let's go on and read the next stuff. So will be the first name. The first name will need to be stored into name, which is LBL name. Okay. So it is the form two dot LBL name colon equals um, as data. It's the last name which we're reading to be LBL surname and then the age which is age. Uh, this we can get LBL age. Okay, so that will work now. Let's just here we will just say form two dot show and in form two dot level top currently calls you are now logged in. Let's see if this works. Uh, oops, it should be dot caption. Sorry. As well as the label and uh, okay. Let's do this again. What's the mistake now? Oh, again. 
Put caption. What else is a mistake? I missed a semicolon. And I have a bracket there for some reason. Um, it's showing himself the recreated, isn't it? So my account already exists. Let's log in. Sean. Oops. Sean result. Let's give it. Let's first make an incorrect password and username. So let's log in. Okay, so. Okay. If file exists, then it's. Well, it doesn't exist. If it's not works, it doesn't find the files. If the files incorrect, means that I think the Sean result. I say, oops, Sean Rosa is logging. It doesn't find the file because it doesn't exist. Let's enter the correct uh, username. And say, why is that not there? Oh, because it ported from this one below, okay. So now the username is correct, so it starts running this, but then it gets to the password, and then, then I see that, that, that the password is incorrect. Let's enter 1, 2, 3. And boom, now we are logged in, as you guys can see. And let me show the result 18. That works. Basically, what I want to show today. We can also create other purpose for instance, such as username Yaku, last name is Furi, first name is Yaku, and password is Jakes. Age 99, sign up, can't create it, so we can also sign with Yaku, Yaku, Jakes. So now Jakes is signed in, or Yaku is signed in, log out, you can go sign in with Sean Salt again. And you guys can see. So now you might now actually can see that here yeah, the two profiles is now created. So yep. And basically what I, what I wanted to show today is how to do this. Which which prepares us for our Facebook clone, which is still coming. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!